Hey guys, so let me show you one of my projects on Raspberry Pi. So basically I'm going for vacation very soon for roughly five to seven days and as you can see I have a kind of big garden many flowers to be taken care of and because it's hot here so need to be watered regularly so how do I water them uh, is a big question so I got inspired from other videos on YouTube of uh, the water system on Raspberry Pi and also made some improvement so let me show you its features so first uh, I'll tell you a little bit about the requirement so for sure you need a Raspberry Pi and I also added a remote control feature so if you want this feature you need internet access <clears throat> and also in order to remotely control your Raspberry Pi uh, you need a remote Linux server or whatever server Windows server as well with a static uh, IP address and you need some relays to control your pump depending on how many pumps you are uh, you have uh, and also you need water pumps and also AC adapters for the water pump and also tubes like these ones <clears throat> and also other things like wires and solders you know some electric thing stuff okay so here is the overview of uh, well basically a diagram so here is the water pump it pumps water to your flowers and uh, it's been charged by your power as you can see the, this wire positive and negative and I've cut a small piece here uh, on the negative side or whatever you can also cut on the positive side because the pump the voltage of pump is uh, up to 12 or 24 volts so basically homeless so you cut the wire and and you connect these wires to a relay and the relay is being controlled by Raspberry Pi basically three pins a 5 volt pin, power pin uh, the GPIO and also the ground so basically you send a command to Raspberry Pi to close or open the relay so the circuit can be opened or closed fairly simple isn't it so about the command and also I will talk about a little bit about the remote control so the command actually is uh, very simple you can find tons of tutorials on YouTube or or on the website and if you want you if you if you want a script I can I can share with you no problem so basically it's just a GPIO control in bash and I also use the cron tab for a job schedule <clears throat> so for the cron tab I I order Raspberry Pi to enable the pump every other two days at uh, half past six in the morning for maybe eight minutes, uh, sorry, eight seconds for this pump and uh, five seconds for this pump, something like that. <clears throat> uh, so for the remote control, it's optional, but uh, I think it's, it's, very, it's very handy and actually doesn't require a lot of uh, work if you know some basic Linux commands and you know all these commands you know they're very very simple no for loop no if else statement no while loop nothing you know just few lines of command and uh, you're ready to go so let me explain to you a little bit about this uh, cloud control you know pretty simple story so basically on my Raspberry Pi so from my Chrome tab I use SCP to to copy commands from the server. So this 
FCP command is being executed every one minute. So basically it pulls the command from the web server every minute. And uh, so this is the first cron tab. And second cron tab, uh, cron tab command is to execute uh, the command uh, periodly. So this is what I, uh, I told you before that for every other two days I water I order the Raspberry Pi to enable the pump to to water them at uh, half past six in the morning, <clears throat> and also uh, execute an emergency command periodly. So what is emergency command? So uh, I thought that during the vacation, if something happened, let's say that from the weather report, I know there is a very severe drought. Well, I, I, I don't think so. Or, or uh, it rains every day. So I need to do something. If it rains every day, it's very simple. I just disable the, the re regular watering system in the morning and then everything is, oh, is okay, right? But what if it's, it's really, really hot and I need to water them like uh, three times a day, you know? So that comes with the emergency command. Basically, <coughs> uh, normally, the emergency command just uh, send uh, just echo zero value to the GPIO. Basically, just tell them t tell the GPIO that okay, well, disable, disable, you know. Um, and and this command executes every one minute, you know. So basically, it does nothing. Just tell the the GPIO, disable, disable, you know. However, if I want to modify, say, okay, now I want to do something. I want to, I want the pump to, to pump water for, for 10 seconds, fine. So from the web, sev web server, I upload my command and the command will download the newest emergency command. And uh, so after one minute or two, it will pump the water for me basically like this and also after uh, every command I export a water log basically is a date okay and I copy this I, I copy this uh, log to the cloud server so if I access the, the, the cloud server from my, fo my phone remotely I know okay uh, there is a there is a log. Okay, the 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 what uh, the flowers has been watered. Okay, <clears throat> so uh, so that's it. So for the cloud server, if uh, I'm not sure if you guys ever have any experience, basically you can rent a uh, cloud server with a very cheap price, like uh, like five dollars per month or something. You know. Uh, or I don't know. You know, the cheapest one I can get is uh, maybe a twenty dollars for one year or something. You know, it's pretty handy. So why we need the server? Because normally the the the, the cloud server has a static uh, IP address. Because you know, the phone we we use and also the Raspberry Pi. You know, the home address we use. Our, our IP address changes so you cannot track IP address so basically I synchronize everything or I will say that the, the cloud server is a bridge you know with a unique static IP address so I copy my co command to the cloud server and the Raspberry Pi downloads command from the cloud server and uh, and this is how we communicate and that's it so I will show you a little bit the Raspberry Pi that I showed you so here is the Raspberry Pi mm, as you can see that it is connected to a relay, a four channel relay. So basically you can control four relays separately. Uh, 
because I have uh, four pumps. Here I only show you two pumps. So here are these two pumps. So they are powered here, right? So through the wire, it goes outside, but in the middle, I use an extra wire. And this doesn't work to cut the wire and connect to the to the to the relay, as you can see here, you know. So this should work. And from the command, so it's pretty simple. For the Chrome tab. On the Raspberry Pi, so uh, every other two days at half six, half past six, it's execute the water command. Okay, and also for every one minute, <coughs> uh, it copies the water command. Basically, the same here. Okay from the web server and for every minute the the Raspberry Pi copies the newest water history to the web server uh, and so every one minute from the web server it copies the emergency script to Raspberry Pi and also for every one minute uh, the Raspberry Pi will execute the emergency water script so pretty simple so I'll show you how it looks for the Water script, you know, basically it's very simple, just echo one value to your GPIO port. And you know, you slip for a certain time, you know, and uh, you can define time of slip, you know, time of interval, things like that. And echo the date to the file, uh, water history log. So that's it. And the emergency is also very similar. You know? However, I only echo zero to the value of the GPIOs because I don't want them to do anything. If I want to do something from the web server, I edit. Uh, you know, maybe echo 10. Sorry, echo one, slip ten, echo zero, you know, to water my flowers for ten seconds or th something, you know. And once it's done, you know, actually, you don't know, actually, you know, because um, from the irrigation history, you know, from the web server, you will see the history. Once you see that uh, it's, it's been executed, and then from your phone, you know, uh, you SSH to your phone and disable this and that's it after other after another one minute it will be synchronized to your web server sorry to your raspberry pi and the pump will stop so pretty simple so uh, let me show you a little bit how this looks yeah, okay, so I just enable the, the water command. See? This is for the big pump, and now this is for the small pump. I water them three seconds and uh, pause five seconds and another three seconds. And uh, 
that's it. Okay, so if you have any questions, just leave me a comment. Thank you very much.